Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with this puzzle here, another Hanayama puzzle from in Japan representing a Triforce, a Zelda Triforce. So let me open the thing up and see what it's looking like and what it's about. It's not part of the regular Hanayama series, but it's like a limited edition, I think, a Zelda themed limited edition. Difficulty rating of this puzzle is a 5 out of a maximum of 6 on the Hanayama scale, so it should be quite challenging. And this is what it looks like. A Triforce, obviously, with, I don't know how many pieces, let's see, 4 pieces overall. You can see it here. Can this picture already give us some conclusion how this works? Maybe, maybe. And task is usual for the Hanayama puzzles to separate it and to reassemble it. And the, the surface treatment here or the coating of this puzzle looks quite nice. It looks like a worn old brass piece or something. Usually those things are made out of casted tin, so it's definitely a coating. And yeah, there's not much to discover on this puzzle, probably without giving away the solution. I assume it's kind of a, it's my personal assumption that it's kind of a spinning or something puzzle, but we're gonna find out. And at the end of this video, I of course will also show you a step-by-step -step instruction how to put it, how to take it apart and put it together as I usually do on all my Hanayama videos. So let's check it out. Okay, so the Triforce. Can I discover anything? When looking here from the side on the puzzle, no, not really. But I could assume that in those little cutouts, in these notches, there are probably running some pins and you can see actually the pins right here. And therefore I'm gonna try to, oh, here we go. You see, it already moved. Wow. This looks quite cool. Pins are probably now running in those notches. Can't see them though. This looks quite cool. It reminds me a bit of the, what's the name? The cast square, I think. Maybe the same idea. And on the cast square, the, the trick was, and I can't do this here on my on my desk, to spin it upright. Um, let me just get something to put it here. Let's take this box. Let's see if this, that's the trick. Hmm, not really. Okay, so this is, I can see that in this notch here, there's currently a pin inside. From what direction does it disappear? It doesn't go anywhere right now. I can't show it to you because the gap is very small. Now it, this one is gone. This one is also gone. No, this one is also still visible and here also. I'm pretty sure that if the pins are in place, there is no way. Okay, so I can, I can shift it apart like so. Not when I have it in upside down condition. But when I have it in vertical condition, no, also not. It's also strange. So when it's on the desk, I can't do anything. But if I lift it, I instantly can slide it apart. Okay, because I push it in the wrong way, I need to like push it upwards, both at the same time. Puzzle solved! <laughs> okay, this was no pin in the center. So let me just check it out, how this works, and then let me explain in detail how to solve it. This is how the puzzle is solved. Um, and I consider the starting condition as shown here in the rear with the notches, like so, and the front logo, okay? If it's assembled other way around, and it can easily happen because it's possible, unfortunately, there's no poker yoki to prevent that. You need to orient the puzzle opposite to what I'm showing here. Keep that in mind in case the solution would not work for you. Okay, so and this is how we start. We start in this condition, like on the box, and all we do is 
we tilt it upwards like so. And when I lift it up, I gonna shift it, okay? So I gonna lift it up and I gonna shift it and we'll do this move, okay? Next, I will tilt it forward like so, 90 degrees, backward again, put it back on the, on the desk and leave it going back into the initial condition like so. And now I will repeat the exact same move again, like so, and the puzzle will separate. How does it work? There are like six pins, okay? One on the bottom side here, as shown on the box, coming out if I twist it like so, and it will drop in this hole here, in this one, okay? So it can't go anywhere when it's in initial condition because this pin is in this hole. What I do, tw tilting it is, first, when it's flat on the ground, this pin here is in this notch, and this pin is in this small hole. So I can't move anything. If I then tilt it like so with the logo up, this pin will still remain in the notch. This one will got release this notch here. And this enables me to slightly slide it like so because there is some free play here for this pin. However, when I then tilt it opposite, what happens is that this pin will drop in the side of the notch over here with this little ramp, while the other pin over here is dropping outside of the notch and will release it. And the only thing I need to do then, when it's in here, because it can slide out by itself, is I just need to put it upright again, bring it back in the initial condition, which makes the pin slide up the ramp and is pushed inside, and then just repeat the same move again and it will be able to separate. To reassemble it is also quite easy. I will just put this one inside. I will put this pin on top of this one, this pin on top of this one, and the other one back here on top of this one. Can be sometimes a bit fiddly because not all the pins will move in properly. And then if all the pins are aligned, I can just slide it back in and that's it. Puzzle solved. So from difficulty point of view, for me, never a five out of maximum of six. From my point of view, maximum, maximum a three out of maximum of six on the Hanayama scale or a three out of maximum of five on personal difficulty rating scale. Also considering that this puzzle has a highly chance of being solved randomly, so it happened to me by just fiddling with it. Let me know if you agree. Let me know what you think about this puzzle, how you would rate it. And that's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling.